Jordan Brand has done it again. Another premium. Yo, what's good sneaker fam? Today I'm going to be showing you the Air Jordan 5 Pure Money. Let's start off with the box as always. As you can see, it's in that white slash grey colour. These aren't actually solid white, they're more of an off-white colour. In the pictures, they look pure white, but in hand, they're definitely uh, off-white. So similar to the Take Flights, it's got a Spitfire themed on the top, of the teeth mark going around the box. You've got your Jumpman embossed there, Air Jordan embossed along the front, Blackpool tab, and then the label, which reads Air Jordan 5 Retro Prem, Pure Platinum slash Pure Platinum. These did release on Saturday the 22nd for a hefty price tag of £330. That's $400. US dollars. So yes, I do know why a lot of people didn't cop these because of that price tag, which is understandable. These are still sat on Nike.com. So if any of you guys need a pair, I know the US, a few guys striked out, so I'm going to help them out at retail. I surprisingly cop these on the Thursday, two days before the release day. I went on Nike.com, just checked it out, and they were there, full size run. So I copped when the official release date was Saturday. A bit confusing. But oh well, I still got them. As you guys know, I didn't get the Take Flight 5s. I did pass on them, because at the time I had no money. I'll probably end up picking them up. You guys know me. But I did definitely have to get these, because I do love an all-white shoe. So let's waste no more time. Let's get into the shoe. Lifting off the lid, hits you with that. Retro 5 card which reads Air Jordan V Premium The iconic Air Jordan V takes a brand new elevated look and feel this season Jordan Brand celebrates his model by delivering premium materials and craftsmanship making it truly something special This instant classic will leave you saying Do you know, do you know, do you know Definitely a dope speech Then next up gives you this black dust bag with again teeth on it similar to Spitfire on both sides more of a, like a nylon effect bag. White drawstring with a round pull tab with the jump man on, as you guys can see. Another tough bag, similar to the cores. And of course, you guys know, double wrapping paper, all in white, nothing special. So that's the box, the Prem 5. Looking at the pictures online, I like these a lot more better than the Take Flights. Like I said, an all white shoe. I saw one review on these and instantly had to get them. I mean, to be fair, for the price tag, which is quite high, it is quite steep for a Jordan. But I mean, with the packaging and the materials that they hit you with, can't go wrong. It's worth the money, definitely, in my opinion. If you want this type of material, you've got to pay the price, basically. So the official name for these are the Pure Platinum, but I call them the Pure Money, just because they're similar to the Pure Money 4s, which are going to be coming out. So I'm going to give these a nickname, Pure Monies. So let's get into the details of the shoe. The whole of the shoe is in that Pure Platinum colour. Like I said, the off-white. It's not a solid white, which was a lot better than what I was thinking. So as you guys can see, it's got that super soft materials all on the upper. You've got an ultra soft tongue, a lot softer than the upper. Embossed jump man also on the tongue. You've got your rope laces, which is definitely a switch up. And then the lace pulls, as you guys can see, it's also hit with that soft leather, which is definitely a dope touch in my opinion. They've switched up on the lace lock, which at first when I saw it on the tape flights, I thought, no, what are they doing? But then it's a premium, so you've got to do something different than just a plastic clear lace lock so they've hit it with a triangle style on that soft leather with lasered flight the jump man as you guys can see another thing people didn't really like was the side panels it's like a weaved effect also with that soft leather it also goes underneath the laces but it's different to be fair I mean I like it I like the design and the idea I'm definitely rocking with it the embossed jump man on the back of the heel one of the best parts I like about these the whole midsole is wrapped similar to a vinyl wrap also in that soft leather which is definitely a nice touch on the Jordan 5 premium and then of course my favourite part, that milky sole as you can see. Gold hip jump man on the sole. As soon as I saw the pictures of these, that sole just blew me away. You guys know I like my milky sole, especially like the maroon sixes. Looking on the inside of the shoe, the whole lining is padded with that soft leather. Air Jordan upside down stitched on the inside of the tongue. White insole, gold stamp jump man, you guys know. They also hit it with the gold lace tips of the stamp jump man, which is definitely another dope hit. And again, wow, that smell of that leather is just insane. Premium or Pinnacles have got the best smell out of any Jordan, period. Again, same on the other shoe, if they're the same course. What's your thoughts on these guys? Did any of you guys pick them up? I know a few people are quite happy with getting these. I'm glad they sat, so people that actually wanted to get them could get them, even though the price tag's high, but pay for what you get. I mean, the next one to come out is a black carbon fiber, as you guys can see up here. To be fair, I'm not feeling it at all, so they'll probably be a pass for me, but then pictures don't do justice. You never know what they're like in hand. Take Flight 5s, I'm definitely gonna cop to go with my Take Flight 8s. Only pass 
awesome because I had no money at the time and they're sat in Nighttown London so I'll definitely be picking up a pair of them. I'm thinking of doing an update on my Pinnacle collection as you guys saw at the beginning of this video you saw my premiums with these on top so if you guys want to see me do my Pinnacle collection drop a comment down below see how many I can get also if I can get 150 thumbs up I'll definitely do that video for you guys. The only Jordan Pinnacles or premium I'm missing are Suede 11s which I definitely need to cop, Take Flights like I said and the Ginger 4s. Three Pinnacle and premiums that I'm missing out on but other than that I've got the rest of them. I'll throw a short video of these on feet so you guys can see what they're like so stay tuned for the end of the video. Of course my Instagram the shots are coming at King of VI so go check them out when they're up. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I've got some dope content coming you won't be disappointed and also comment down below if you grab these or you let them sleep. In my opinion, Jordan Brand executed this Premium 5 very well. Until next time, I'm the King of AI. Peace. Too fresh.